There's gotta be a landline in that office, man. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, at least for a little while. Let me just call somebody, get a little help, and we'll get out of here. Hey, hey, it's me. Look, we really need to get out of New Jersey. Yeah, the things are heating up. We got like half the New Jersey mob after us. Uh, and a cemetery in Hoboken. Here I was again, halfway down the world, and still looking at the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is, I didn't understand the language. Haven't you figured out I don't speak your fucking language? Seu grigo de merda, cala a boca, seu grigo! That's right, I may be a moron, but here's the thing. I ain't quite as dumb as I see. It was time to get out of there. It seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. And that awful life was I'd stayed in the docks. I'd been given enough chances to make this right and again I'd blown. This was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity. It was a goddamn war zone. I had to assume Giovanna and Marcella were out there somewhere. Maybe I still had a chance to get somebody in that family through the day in one piece. Swarming with cops. They weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough clusterfucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcelo and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads, too. Anna and Marcella were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work.
raids. Renathugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. Everyone was fair game, as I was about to find out. Me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second. If I filled my body with enough poison, maybe I'd forget I added another dead girl to my rap sheet. still alive and still not all that happy about it why did the easy way out never come maybe i thought i didn't deserve it
tá me tirando, Fala pô? alguma coisa, seu filho Onde da tá puta! O seu chefe? Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. Nasty business. If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Harry Krishnas. I couldn't make much sense of what I was seeing, but I had the feeling it wasn't that strange for anyone else. I had no option but to take the scenic route. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. They were bussing them out by the dozen. But who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force?
seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. I'd gone from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go low, as my new friends were about to find out. It was Sao Paulo's finest and a busload of lucky winners they picked out earlier. I decided I might as well follow them. I was lost and they were going somewhere. And it was the closest I was going to get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcelo and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never received. Então tá tudo sob controle, tá tudo bem. Olha lá. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcelo. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Não faz isso não, viu? Por favor, não faz isso não. Vamos acabar com essa porra. Cala a boca, sua puta. Vem pra cá. Here was Giovanna and Marcelo. What the hell are they about to do to him? Queima, viado! Marcelo! You bastard! Javon! It's gonna be okay. No, 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 you don't want to do that. Come on. Go, 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 go. Why did they do that to Marcelo? It's a legendary gang way of killing people. Street gang? I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people they took. Shh. Who fez this? Foi um americano. Foi? Foi? He's blaming you for the death of his friend. Porra de americano. Como você morre, porra. Caralho. Contra ele. Mata ele. Pode deixar, eu mato. After a couple of hours of lying and shit, you learn to appreciate what you've got. 
and right now all we had was each other. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever. The constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find a way out of there. Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths want to send you upstairs, I reasoned the crowd was as good a place as any. At least when we got shot, maybe some kind soul would take a video and put it on the internet. Let's go. I just saw a couple looking at me. All right. Paso said there's a good place to hide in the back. Donkey. I just try to stay calm. <laughs> I guess this is it. No, keep going. That's a girl. Here, come on. This way. Pregnant. You better be shitting me. Me and Raul, Passos, you call him. We just want to live somewhere away from this shit. I understand. I wanted that too, a long time ago. What happened? It just didn't work out that way. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe things will be different for you two, I mean. Passos is a lucky guy. I don't think these guys are here for your baby shower. Get down. Stay out of sight. Disperse e procure por toda parte. Temos que achar a menina do americano. It's gonna be okay. Just calm down, I said. Calm down? Are you out of your mind? Bola, bola, vamos ver isso na puta. Vamos ver aí, vá. The queen killed. Giovanna, just wait there. I'll just be here soon. There isn't going to be a soon if we stay here. We have to move. Giovanna, get down. I can't do 
all this. Make sure you stay out of sight. Parade float. We couldn't have made our arrival more obvious. Oh we had God. to hide Man. someplace out of the Mark. open. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We just gotta lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcello thinking going in there by themselves? Guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine, and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Broncos' security detail. Just check this. We need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. Hey. If we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. All right. Hmm. Ready. Right. Oh. Yeah. Got it? Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. I guess that meant neither could I. Well done. Janava. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it! He's going to see the Sakada! room? Yes, I think so. Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down. Good at this. Max, 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 ah, I can't see a way down here either. It has to be something.
must be a way to drop those stairs down. Wait a second. I'm going to try something. Good. The spoils of a desperate man. Come on. Let's get the hell away from here. Go on. It's okay. I'm right behind you. As Aventuras do Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Episódio 204. Nosso herói idoso encontrou o esconderijo do Saci, onde ele mantém sua namorada, Bicycle Helmet Girl, como refém. Yes! Ela não é minha namorada. Me ajuda, me ajuda! Me ajuda, Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Mesmo sendo um velho rabugento que ainda usa roupa de jovem. Mas quase ele não consegue levantar o taco. Quando de repente ele tem uma ideia brilhante. Eu tô velho demais pra usar esse taco. Tá na hora de trocar por algo que um velho usaria. Captain Baseball Bad Boy sacou o seu melhor taco de golfe. Acorda! Acorda! <risos> Assista ao próximo episódio para ver as incríveis aventuras do Captain Baseball Bad Boy! With little hope that things will improve in the next 18 months. A report by human rights organizations documents evidence that up to 200 residents have gone missing from Sao Paulo's low-income neighborhoods in the past three months, an issue which they say is being ignored by both police and city officials. More Latin American news after this. Hotel Mona. An unforgettable place to stay. I must be losing it. Down there. day had started with us hiding in filth and got progressively worse. My luck was running true to form. Or rather, I was running true to form. Should we wait here for parcels? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. Damn it. Max! Quiet! What? You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in.
Deus, esconde, esconde, sua putinha de merda! Minha condolência pra sua família! Of course I haven't. You ever shot anybody? No. Well, it's drive or shoot, sister. And right now, I reckon I'll be better at the shooting. Come on, you can do this. All right, now listen to me. When I give you the word, I want you to slam it into gear, full on the gas, and drive us the hell out of here. What? Just drive the fucking thing straight and keep on going. Relax. You can do this. Ready? Go. <laughs> building and get the passers. Tell them to wait for me now. Go! Jump! Go! just about to run to the roof when my savior and friend, the man whose unborn child I had just killed for, decided to leave without me. Oi, Max! Get in! Quick! I can't. 
can't believe that bastard just flew off on me. After everything we've been through, I, I saved his girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. Yeah, I don't. I thought you guys were very close. We were. Well, you know what? I did a background check. Jesus. I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Branco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times. Dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo? Or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore. Okay, let me ask you something. What? Well, what is it that you really thought that you were doing down there in Panama? Hmm? And don't tell me you're so naive as to think you were just down there guarding a woman. I didn't know what to say. I had been so loaded in Panama, I could scarcely remember my own name. I know things have got real heavy. Panama had been my second job with Passos. Hey, Max! Max! Come on! The first had been easy. Money for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. This seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was half cut. Ooh, no, sir. Nothing like doing some good blow with some good friends on a boat. Daphne! Ah, come here, I love oh, this one. Marcello, you're going to be the death of me? Alfredo <laughs> Morshad! <laughs> you sure beats New Jersey, huh, Max? In some ways. Hey, come on, it's awesome! Yeah. Everybody's drunk and tanned and listening to house music. Most of them have plastic surgery and they're all doing blow. I guess it is kind of like Jersey, huh? <laughs> That's very funny, Max. Hey, hey, Sauge. Sauge. Oh. Oh, I gotta quit drinking so much. I'd give myself serious liver damage. Yeah, big deal. You can always get a new one. Relax. I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kidding, I hope you are! <laughs> Just stay off the yayo, hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again! <laughs> oh, Mikey. Even though we just met, I feel like we are good friends, you know? Mm. I feel like safe with you guys. Know that, like real safe. That's great. Yeah, and I love New York. Uh, the East Hamptons, do you know it? Uh, not really. I, I spent my honeymoon in Montauk. Oh, where's that? It's just down the road. Whatever. Last time I was there, I got so wasted, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. No, not good. Bad. Real bad. But good, because now I can get you laid a lot. <laughs> it is great to be single, hey? Uh, I love a woman. She's with another, and she doesn't want to know it. Fuck her. I mean, could you believe that shit? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to uh, go to speak to Felipe. Felipe! You crazy crackhead, lay off the yayo, eh? Passos. Walk with me. Yeah, yeah. What's the deal with this guy, eh? He's kind of stuck up. He's a good guy. Yeah, sure, ta bon, ta bon, but have him smile a bit more, you know? Cause life, life is good! <laughs> ah!
Where's the truck? It's coming. Hey, soon. Soon. Pasos. Yeah. I gotta go lay down. Okay.